and start. So I've already recorded lots today and I have loads to do, but not as much as I've had this week. So I'm just going to keep going for my own mental sanity. And I also have my chocolate. I was, uh, I don't have my chocolate. So it's my, in my locker at school. So I don't have that to make me happy. So I'm going to do this and it'll make me happy. And I don't remember what's happening. So whatever. Thankfully, I managed to finish my book. It took more time than I expected, though, and by the time I got back to my room, it was dark outside. When I opened the door to my room, the lights were off. Uh... Oh, we just finished playing the video game tournament. Right, right, right. I flicked them on, and the huddled form of Maya hugged a stuffed purple bear. Hugging a stuffed purple bear appeared on her bed. Hello. I'm back. Maya glanced at me, then buried her face in her, again in her bear. Was she... sulking? It was unlike her to be so unenergetic. Um, are you okay? Hmm. That doesn't sound very okay. Maya glanced at me again, her face a light shade of pink, like she was holding her breath. You know, you can tell me anything. You've helped me out a lot, so it's the least I can do in return, right? Besides, we're friends. <sighs> my side and threw the bear on the floor where it lay as if screaming in agony <laughs> oh wow it's not fair she sighed again <sighs> I know it's terrible to think like this but even though I'm really happy for you getting to be friends with those guys it's just not fair those guys who the normal boots club it's just that I've been a fan of them for so long, and then I love- Sorry. It's just that I've been a fan of them for so long, and I've loved Jared forever. And then here you come out of the blue with your pink hair, and just like that, you're friends. She snapped her fingers in front of her face. And just like that, you're friends. But here I've been trying this whole time, and Jared didn't even know my name. <gasps> She's gonna cry! Oh no! The funniest thing is, Pro Jared actually really does like my, so <laughs> it works out. Oh, that's so sad. I know I'm being stupid, and I feel bad, but I still... My... They were like, ah! Every time there's a decision, Pro Jared and his wife are like, ah! But I chose your, they're your friends too first, even though it's understandable, seems like it would also be a good answer. They were on the grounds that they didn't want to lie. They chose it on the grounds that they didn't want to lie, so they chose it's understandable. So I got to see it's not as good of the ending as, a, or I don't know about ending, but like as a result, as you know, your friends too. So I want to make her happy. And to be honest, I think that like Gerard, especially, maybe it's just that he likes to complete things, but he really does, he's not opposed to Mai, and I think he would consider her a friend, especially. So like, and, and probably Satch. So they're like more interested in Hana, but like <clears throat> this is a dating sim of course they're going to be there they're her friends too Maya smiled weakly at me and they wouldn't be my friends if it wasn't for you my <coughs> i'm going to sleep oh was that a bad one was that a bad one that i just did oh i'm sorry too oh Nope. 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 What's 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 the mean ending? I want to see if this is mean. I don't want. I I'm not doing this. I want her to be happy. I'm cheating. I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna cheat. I don't care. What does this say? I already said that I felt bad. Why are you trying to make it worse? I'm sorry that I finally have friends. Is that still unreasonable? Shouldn't you keep that kind of thing to yourself? Well, so- oh, well, uh, I'm gonna have to bleep her. <clears throat> well, sorry! Next time I will just keep it to myself. You are the worst. She whipped herself around and shoved her face to her pillow. I'm going to sleep. Shut off the lights. I bathed her, bathed her slightly muffled voice and flipped the light switch back off. I tried crossing the room to my bed, but in the darkness my foot hit something soft and squishy. I reached down and picked up the bear my threw. It looked at me like I was a cold french fry. <laughs> But it wasn't my fault. What kind of person says something like that? That was the epitome of being a bad friend. Right? Oh no, 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 
no, no, no, they chose the right one. They, you know what? You know what? Pro Jared and his wife, especially his wife, are really smart and really super analytical. Just trust, I have to trust them. They are the smart ones. They have played these games. I've never played a game like this before. So I'm going to go with their answer. And it's understandable because I'm so sorry, Mai. I don't want to make you mad at me. I didn't know what else to say. Yeah, well... She scratched her head, avoiding my eyes. Thanks for understanding, I guess. And I'll try my best to get over it. Okay. Um, let me know if I can do anything, I guess. I will. Thanks, Hana. No, thanks for telling me. Mai leaned off her bed and picked up her bear, patting its head. She chuckled. We smiled at each other. Even though it was awkward, it seemed like everything was fine. Mai really was a good friend. Okay, I'm saving that. I, I am, I am, I am saving that. <sighs> We're getting close to the part where the route split, but... Man, I'm gonna get these right. Like, with the ones with PBG, I have to see all the endings. So if I make something, if I take a choice that seems like a bad one, then I'll keep going with it. But, like, I'm planning on saving after them so that I can, you know, get the best ending eventually. <clears throat> but, um, see, I'm just a really, apparently in dating games, and I'm just a really bad friend. So... Whatever. I'm bad at these games. <laughs> but I'm with Maya, I'm gonna save until I make it right. Despite our slight confrontation last night, Maya was as peppy as usual the next day. It seemed like there was no reason for me to worry, but that didn't mean I didn't. The bell rang and class started. Miss Shizuka wrote origami flowers on the board in an ornate script, then turned to glare at the class. The flower festival is only a few days away. It's time to get... It's time again to start folding flowers to sell for the school. I don't know if I usually need a voice for her, but I'm doing one now. We do this every year, guys. I don't want to hear any groans. You're free to write me an essay on the importance of these funds for the school if you'd rather not participate. A few students rolled their eyes, but I smiled. It sounded kind of fun, and I hadn't folded origami in years. I'm handing out practice sheets because I know how bad you guys are at origami. I'm only going to teach you once, so pay attention. Shizuka returned to the front of the class, picking an ornate green paper. As she instructed the class, I realized that these were the most basic version of origami flowers. I was already familiar with them. I folded my practice paper with ease while Shizuka roamed the room, helping the students who struggled to follow along. See, I would have just done a better flower. Like, I wouldn't have followed the rules if I uh, had thought that I could make something better. These creases are weak. Kindergartners can do better than this. <clears throat> my ex could do better than this. Sadness passed across Miss Shizuka's face. She turned to the boy next to her and slammed her hand on his desk. You need to be better. Be better for everyone's sakes. Oh, wow. It seemed like quite a few students were having trouble. I went to the front of the class to get some new paper, passing John on the way to my seat. His paper caught my eye. You folded this the wrong way. Your flower's going to be narrow if you keep going. I'll be honest with you, Hana. I have no idea what I'm doing. Help me. He kind of looked like he was about to cry. I knelt by his desk, unfolding and refolding his paper. I can imagine being in John's shoes, too. I, I just had a vision of a lit, like a smaller girl with like really soft hands, just like folding this thing really neatly. Where I, because I'm kind of a like I'm tall, and so like I'm kind of like I, it's just the size difference. And she's like this beautiful, cute little, delicate thing making this. Oh my goodness, it would be so precious. So I can just see it. I can just see it. I can, I'm can. i just in the moment of, of John right now. But uh, I can also imagine helping, but it wouldn't be the same because I'm really, like, I'm big. So I wouldn't be the same. It wouldn't be the same as Hana. It would be me, like, taking up the entire floor on my knees and, like, taking up all the desk, too, with my arms. Like, doot, 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 here you go. It would be different. <laughs> this looks perfect. You're so good at origami. Do you have to make flowers? At Did you have to make flowers at your old school, too? No, I used to do origami a lot when I was younger. Now I guess muscle memory just kicked in. Thanks, though. Really? What an odd skill to have. Well, she's uh, insulted. Is it? You can't not insult Hana. She's just very sensitive. Please. John clasped a hand around my wrist. Stay with me. Help me. Uh, sure, if you need it. Yeah. I knew I could count on you. Thank you, Hana. You're a goddess. 
And with that compliment, we are going to pause. Thank you.